Hey guys, it's Spaces Sims, and we are back with more Lover Pretend consider considering continuing Harumi's route. And we just had a lovely little touching moment. Well, you know, we had the drama moments and then a touching moment. So whatever. Anyway. And then we got to look at all the fun posters in the background of this. And I want whatever game is over there that's some kind of spring thing going on. Because I see a pirate hat and that's all we need. There you go. Pirates. <laughs> anyway. Kuzuryu, did you hear? The Odd Saga event's going to be released on disc. Hmm, I'm not surprised. I saw a lot of recording equipment there. You're acting kind of weird. Do one of your faves get killed off? No, that's not it. What's up? You're being gloomy. Excuse me. I love how the door just slammed the fuck open. I was like, Jesus Christ, Hiromi, you could just open the door, not kick it in. Whoa, what is this? Oh, who is this? An enemy invader! No, it's just some pretty boy. I can't remember all the voices. I'm like, wait, is an A and B, and then there's Kuzuri, and there's... Good God. I I'm Makino, a third year... Hello. I've heard of this guy. He's famous or something. The girls were talking about him. He studied abroad. I'm right fucking here. Wh why are you here? The voice like this is kind of like this voice for the dudes. <laughs> It's the valley dude, it's the bro dude voice. It's the bro dude voice and the valley girl voice. I don't know if I can do a valley guy voice. Like, yeah, like, what is this? this something spring poster. Like, come on, we need that localized. Let's go. I don't know what it is, but let's do it. All of them. Just any one of them. Yeah, I have a minute. Are you talking to me? Yes, I am. I have something I need to say to you. Wh what do you want now? About the other day. I'm truly sorry about it. And they're like, you guys, in, what, what is happening here? Is this a proposal? Wh what? Wh why are you being so dramatic about it? Said the guy with the dramatic fucking voice. A pretty boy prostrating himself before one of us. There's a first time for everything. He put his forehead to the floor. He really means it. Man, when you look like that, you can make anything look good. <laughs> Poor Harumi. Well, what are you doing? Knock it off! Then please listen to what I have to say. I won't stop until you do. Okay, I'm listening, I'm listening! Sounds like a freaking 50-year-old British professor. What is happening? I... I love anime. What? I may not look the part, but I really do. I've seen all of Atsaga 50 times over. I love Tearblade too. Watch all the newest shows each season. My list of favorites is so long, my top favorites are in the double digits. The top favorites in the double digits. You know what, Harumi? You make me aspire to just... Like, what's your favorite anime? Well, there's this one and this one. Oh, but then I like this one. It's okay. It's okay. They'll all be your favorites. For different reasons. It's okay. See, Harumi, right here, giving you permission for everyone to be your favorite. But, but since I studied abroad, everyone thinks I'm some cool, elite, pretty boy. When I say I like anime, they look down on me, so I've kept my passions hidden. I'm a coward. A wimp. But I still love anime, and I've always wanted to share that with other people. I was so happy when you talked to me at the event, Kuzuryu. I'm going to continue our discussions. I want to be your friend. I swear to God, this is the most romantic fucking friendship proposal ever. Makino. Also, I'd like to join the manga club, if I may. I have a part-time job, which will get busy in the winter, so I might have to skip some of the meetings. But even so, I want to stay connected to you, Kuzuryu, and everyone else. This is so fucking ro romantic. Oh my god. I love it. Thank you for your time. I've watched Odd Saga 60 times. I've watched it 70 times! 75 times for me! Oh, they all have different voices, whatever. I stopped counting after I passed 80. So your double-digit viewing power level is nothing compared to ours. But still worthy enough to join our ranks. Any objections to accepting a new initiate? None here! 
So... I can't turn you down after all of that. I mean, you would be a fool. He just bromanced the fuck out of you, buddy. Your other friend's never gonna be the level of this bromance. I am here for this. I'm so glad. Thank you for listening to me. I'm sorry I lost my temper at the event. I should have stayed and given you a chance to explain yourself. I always cower when there are normies around. A nerd trying to hide their nerdery is such a trope. <laughs> a nerd trying to hide their nerdery. I love it. Don't hide your nerdery, kids! That day I didn't know why I didn't think of that. I'm sorry. Kuzuryu. Um, may I ask who your favorite character is in Atsaga, Mr. Makino? All the characters are fascinating, and I'd struggle to pick just one, but... To be honest, I'd have to pick Kai. Kai is great, but I'd say it's only because of his association with Gerda. No, I don't think that's fair to say- Huh? What are you doing here, Harumi? Uh... See, I told you I saw Harumi over here! Oh my god, these bitches are stalkers. You know what, Harumi? Tell them you like manga so they piss the fuck off. These bitches! They are stalking my boyfriend. There is no, like, I told you I saw him over here, so we just popped into this room. Like, he could have been having a private meeting with a teacher, but, like, we just, is, I'm sure it's, like, these are, like, specific rooms for, like, club rooms or whatever. But, like, what the hell? I could have been having a clandestine meeting, having sex with one of my teachers in this room over here, and you just bust right in? God! <laughs> but, I mean, seriously, could you imagine... You're at school, it's not like somebody sees you and they're like, oh, hey, and they, you know, walk down the hall to talk to you. They're like, oh, I saw so-and-so go in that room. Oh, okay, let's go walk into the room and follow him. Like, what kind of crazy bitches do this? We don't even know your names. You're just classmate A and B. You don't even have names. You're not even third-rate characters. Like, what the shit, girl? Both of them crazy. Anyway. But, like, I didn't think Arumi had any business being here. Are these your friends? Maybe his girlfriend is here. No, wait, she goes to a different school. He's alone? Wait, there's no way. Is Harumi really a closet geek? Not anymore. I'm out. <laughs> I'm out of the closet, Harumi. It's okay. Oh, my God. Don't even joke about that. I bet these pack of nerds started a fight with him because he's too gorgeous. Oh my god, set them straight. I'm a nerd. Is that a problem? What? <laughs> That's a good one. You're so funny. I said I'm a nerd. Wait, for real? So you've been lying to us this whole time? Don't you think that's really rude? Don't you think it's really rude to fucking follow someone around and be so goddamn judgy? Stalker? Please, Harumi. I'm going to need you to hike your tits up and tell these bitches off. Holy hell. That is so sad. You're talking about cartoons with these losers? So disappointing. What? I apologize for lying about my interests until now. However, they're nothing to be ashamed of. And these are perfectly nice people. They've accepted me for who I am. They're my new friends. You don't even have names. Mock oh, <coughs> Mockino, bro. <laughs> I'm sorry. But this is just the voice that we gave him as a random stranger. And now, just having Kuzuri be like, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know he was going to end up with a name and be our bromance, okay? Oh, so you want us to think they're cool just because you're gorgeous, Harumi? Ugh, no way. Hard pass. Not even going to consider it. So what? It's not like we sought out your approval. <laughs> yeah, bravo, Manga Club member A, who also doesn't have a name but is still cooler than classmate A. Well, we're the ones who don't care about you. Oh, please. Who do you think you are? Rumi Makino's friends. Bitch. <laughs> I love this smackdown of these douchey girls. That's why I hate geeks. You better drop them all you can, Harumi. That's why I hate geeks. Why? Because they don't care and fawn over your approval and do anything to get in your pants. They don't give a shit. They're too busy playing Dungeons and Dragons and flipping out then trading Magic the Gathering cards. Like, I'm just saying. 
Nerds are more fun anyway. I just now I just really miss playing board games. That's got to be it. They're blackmailing you into being their friend. Yeah, hey, yeah, Arumi, you've got to run with a better crowd. Why would you assume that? They understand me better than you do. You're starting to scare me, Harumi. Ugh, it's all your fault, Harumi's all weird now. How are you going to fix him? Somebody needs to get slapped. Harumi, I don't think you should slap a girl, but I'm gonna need you to slap a girl. Hey! I really wanted a little more drama. I wanted him to, like, tell them off and, like, have a nice, like, frickin' monobrologue. You know what I mean? Or he just... A monobrologue. It's like a monologue, but it's all about how awesome your bros are. It's your, like... It's not your romantic monologue. It's your bromantic monologue. A monobrologue. You're welcome. <laughs> what the hell? You know? These... If these guys accepted me, and they don't even care that I like anime. They're my friends, and they're better than you. And you just go on and on about how they're noble and wise. And their passions for anime are just tied with your own, and they live their life to the fullest, and they care not what other people think. You know, something like that. I don't know. <laughs> Some shit, but you know what I'm saying. On my way back from university, my thoughts kept drifting back to Harumi. I wonder if he made up with Kuzuryu. Hmm, is that... Harumi? I ran up to him, calling his name. When I caught up, I saw he was especially gloomy. Did it not work out? No, I made up with Kuzuryu and joined the manga club. But that just served to spark a new conflict. Well, let's not discuss it all here. Come on up to my place. Wh huh? Going into a lady's home? At night when she lives alone? I don't think that's the best idea. But it's normal between friends, right? Kazuma comes over all the time. Even though it was early November, the nights had gotten chilly. It seemed like he had a lot on his mind, and I didn't want to risk him catching cold. Wasn't it like September when we were doing the scouting? And now it's November. Right? Like, wasn't it? Like... It's been like a couple months here. Like, it's weird, because none of the other ones really... It's like, oh, it's been a few weeks. I mean, did it say it's been a few... I mean, like, maybe it didn't. I just forgot. I don't remember. Plus, I knew I could trust Harumi. Well, in that case, I'll take you up on your kind offer. I mean, valid. You shouldn't just let some random strange person into your house, man or woman, but... Because you never know who's going to stab you. But, like, Harumi? For God's sakes. He won't even sit anywhere near. He'll be like, I'll sit in the kitchen, and you go sit in... like. I led the still-hesitant Harumi along, and we entered my apartment together. <gasps> oh no, the new drama! Cosmo's like, what the fuck? That was Makino, right? Are those two really- Oh no, no, you can't! No, you can't do this! Game, you can't do this! It's one thing to have Cosmo be like, <gasps> Are they, like, dating? But he looks sad! He looks sad and dejected! You can't fucking do that! You can't! No, stop it. Okay, because again, a normal childhood friend route, they're always in love with you, whatever, and you're always like, yeah, what, this character sucks. And then I'm always like, I don't care if you're sad, get out of here! Because, like, but I care if Cosmo's sad, we love him, he's precious! Look at his sad face! I actually keep making him sad. I like his sad face. I can't help it. There's something wrong with me. <laughs> but I just, it hurts me. I just want to hug him and pet him and tell him everything's going to be okay. And then give him a Scooby snack. Stop it. Big dumb golden retriever. Boy, you can't hurt him like this. He's basically our himbo. Like, I kind of feel like he's like the himbo -iest. You know what I mean? Hmm. But, like, we don't really have a himbo. He's, like, the closest thing we got. The best friend himbo. Because he's kind of an idiot. But, like... Like, I mean... But you can't make him sad like this! Like, you can't... No! Don't break his little heart! He's supposed to be happy for us, not sad. Oh, you can't put this conflict in! Stop it! Then he's gonna be like this at every route, and I'm gonna feel bad. It's kind of, like... 
It's like when you see your favorite and you're playing other routes and you're like, it's okay, sweetie, I still love you. You know what I mean? And you're like, I'll come back for you. Don't worry. Like, but like, this is just, but you can't make him sad. You're supposed to make us be like, no, no, it's okay. I'm looking at my favorite while he's over there and I'm dating this guy. But like, you, they're not supposed to be sad about it. When they put this sad face on, and his sad face is so good, I feel guilty. Stop it. I'm going to have to go cry now. I feel ashamed of myself, and I don't even know why. And he's sad. He's not even confused, like, huh, what are they doing up there? He's like, are they really? He's going to go get a pint of Ben and Jerry's and cry now. Great. Guilty. Oh, so your fans found out. I wouldn't call them fans. I was ready for their ridicule, but then they started in on the other club members, too. What do you want to do? Me? You've always been careful about your image, but now you're being true to yourself. You think you should just leave it like this? Harumi was silent and thought for a while before answering me. Honestly, it makes me so frustrated. Anime is part of Japanese culture. It's something we should be proud of, not something that we get rejected over. I mean, what was I saying like two parts ago? Like, what the shit? I get it when it came over to the Western world, there was like this weird, oh, it's nerdy and weird, but like now it's so mainstream that like making fun of someone for liking anime is like, yeah, well, look at you needing oxygen, freak. You know what I mean? Like it's just so normal now that it's like, okay, right? You're going to make fun of me for liking computers or having a cell phone or like, you know, and it's just, it's so normal that it's just stupid to make fun of people for it now. Well, I mean, it was stupid before, but at least it was like, oh, it's something newfangled and weird, you know? Now there's other things that you make fun of people for because they're newfangled and weird and nobody gets it, okay? Well, like, it's just weird that he's being ridiculed. He's like, it's a, like, huge industry in Japan. So, like, it's like, it's like in America being like, oh, you like going to the movies? What are you, a loser? What? Like, do you not watch movies? Oh, I don't watch movies or TV shows. That's lame, you freak. Like, <laughs> it's like Hollywood. You know what I mean? Like, this is just so fucking weird. I get it if you're like, yeah, okay, I'm not into it. That's fine. But like making fun of someone, it's a huge fucking Japanese industry. I don't know. Seems strange. Enjoying it isn't a crime. Exactly. I wish there was a way to make them take it back. I don't mean they need to love anime, but I just want them to acknowledge that people like what they like. We tried to brainstorm for a while, but we couldn't find an easy solution. Okay, I understand that Harumi is, like, personally affronted and is trying to, like, you know, get vengeance for his romantic, romantic buddies over there. Sure, fine. But, like, okay. Why does it matter so much what two random bitches think? They've said some horrible things. You told them off, and then that's it. When you see them, it's like, listen, if you don't respect me or my friend, like, that's fine. You don't have to like anime, but you'll respect us and our hobbies. Stop talking to me. Don't even come near me. And, like, publicly, in front of everyone so that they look like assholes, because they don't have to like your hobby. And people could certainly be like, uh, yeah, I don't fucking get that. That's weird. That's cool. You know, I think people who taxidermy are weird. That's weird and strange to me. But, like, you go have fun with that, but I don't want any part of it. But I'm not going to, like, openly a call. Oh, my God. Ew, you're such a freak. You know what I mean? Like, these bitches, like, listen, I think your hobby is strange. And I'm going to back away slowly. But, like, okay. You do you and get your squirrel army there, buddy. Okay? What else? Like, because everybody's got, like, something that's a little weird about them. That, everyone, that other people are going to be like, um, okay, sure, weirdo. But you just leave it alone. These girls need to just let it go. And Harumi, you need to just let it go and just tell them to back the hell off. I was like, it's just weird that they're just fighting so hard. Like, I, I mean, honestly, it's them because he's already told them off. And they're still like, oh my god, like, uh, and it's like, girls, seriously, just let it go. I think we need to have a con confrontation with them and be like, why are you so pathetic? Why are you so obsessed with Harumi? That you just can't let it go that he likes anime. He likes anime. If you don't like it, that's fine. Get over it. Move on. Stop trying to change some random person that doesn't even know your names. Girl A and girl B. Good God. 
They stress me out because it's like, let it go, girls. Just stop stalking it. They're stalkers. Okay, we need to get a fucking restraining order, okay? Where's the police box? I wanted to end things on a positive note and let you know that I made up with Kuzuryu and talk about upcoming work. But by solving one problem, I only succeeded in making another. I'm sorry. It's not your problem. You did not make this problem. It's okay. Oh, work! We have a meeting tomorrow. It has to be about... Yes. It probably has to do with... That. Thought so. Professor Asagi's script is mostly done, so I knew that had to be it. So the script is finished? Yeah, I'm still reading, but it's so amazing. But we can talk about it later. You need to read it too. Yes, I will, but it's late. I don't want to overstay my welcome. Don't worry about it. Anyway, let's keep brainstorming after the meeting tomorrow. Okay, and then I'll see you at... The cast announcement! Oh, I'm sorry. The cast announcement! That's when multiple people talk is also valid girl voice. <laughs> the cast announcement! We're going shopping! Anyway. That day, the staff gathered to discuss the upcoming schedule. I think it's just so funny that they dramatize that. Like, it's probably about, yeah, that. And then later it's, we're going to, because of the cast announcement! Like, we didn't fucking know that's what it was, because it said November, and it already just told us it was November. <laughs> they had to make it, like, so, like, it was supposed to be dramatic. <gasps> what? Cast announcement? I'm sorry, wait. <clears throat> the cast announcement? Oh my god, it's the cast announcement? No way! Was that good fake acting? Did I do okay? Like, what the fuck? This game is so weird sometimes. Like, I can't make connections because I don't have a father! <laughs> I do love this game, but like, seriously, certain lines like that, you're like, this is a little too dramatic. <laughs> it's probably because of- <gasps> Right! That! Right, yeah, that thing! I know! Cast announcement! Like, I just can't get over how ridiculous certain things are. <laughs> Good God. That day, the staff gathered to discuss the upcoming schedule. It was all hands on deck, which included Miss Kayama, who was in charge of hair and makeup, and her assistant, Kazuma. Oh no. Amid the director's notes and department checks, it was announced- Well, anyway... Yeah, luckily I looked over again. I just- Okay, we made it through, like, one fucking part where the stupid piece of shit- didn't decide to tell me to go fuck myself. I have no fucking idea what's going on. So, like, I uh, just, this, I hate my life. But anyway, so we were here. Amid the director's notes and department checks, it was announced that the script was done. The characters and cast were set. If everything went well in the upcoming month, shooting would begin at the start of the year. After the meeting, we went and gathered in the room with the principal cast. I think it was, like, on this line and I ground over, so, like, we lost, like, a minute. To play one of the leads, we've cast Riku Nishijima. Oh, <gasps> no way! I mean, okay, we knew. <laughs> we all applauded the obvious choice. For the next announcement, however... The other lead will be Yukito Sena. Sena, a model with no acting experience, had landed a co-starring role with Nishijima. While everything... Well, everyone was expecting Nishijima, some looked conflicted over Sena, but then most of them likely hadn't seen his audition or his performance in the short film. Even so, the director had chosen him, so nobody objected. Like, nobody sh like... <laughs> Looking at them standing with each other, they really do look natural together. Next, the supporting cast was announced, including Mr. Hanai and other familiar names. There's people from the camp? Some of them were actors who'd lasted until the final round of auditions. The meeting continued for a while to cover the script distribution and dates for the table readings. We also scheduled costume fittings and more. <clears throat> so, let's end there for today. Phew, we got through it. I'd figured I wouldn't be too involved now that the script was done. But I'd be assisting Mr. Asagi, who himself was very busy. Plus, I'd be doing a lot of other tasks when shooting began. I can still be involved. I'm glad I can continue working with Harumi. Wait, what am I thinking? You're making some real funny faces. Let's say it's Kazuma or Hanai. So, basically, same voice. K Kazuma? Ah, uh, good work today. 
now that we've got the cast finalized, things are finally happening. Yeah, hey, I wanted to ask... Hmm? The other day... Hey, you! Nice job today. Uh, Sena, personal boundaries, please! It's okay, sweetie. <laughs> I was just trying to give you a hug. You haven't changed, Ueda, honey. Hey, getting touchy-feely like that ain't cool. You haven't changed either, Kazuma buddy. I wish he called him Kazuma baby. That'd be so funny. Like, oh, Kazuma baby. Don't call me baby. Would you prefer I called you honey? Absolutely. Oh. <laughs> it's nice to see you again, Sena. Congratulations on your big role. Hey, I'm sincerely happy about it. Aren't you too, Nishijima? <laughs> just the three dotted lines and him just standing stock still like... Like a fucking stork in the wood. Like, nope. Standing still, nobody sees me. It's nice to see you too, Nishijima. Congratulations on getting the lead. Mm, thank you, Oweda. I was a little surprised by the casting. Not that you two weren't chosen, but... I thought you'd get the opposite characters. Yeah, I thought so too. I wasn't expecting it either, but it's been decided, so I will play my part to perfection. It's probably to subvert expectations, no. And the allure of the unexpected, you got the surprise built in that way. Like, oh, Yukito, you've shown me a new side of yourself and it makes me even crazier for you. And that sort of thing. Subvert expectations. Excuse me. Hey, Harumi! What is it? I just had an idea about that other plan we've been talking about. Oh, really? I don't think it'll solve all of the issues, but it might get them to at least listen to us. I'm not sure it'll work out, but I do think it's worth a shot. Let's hear it. Okay, well. There were still people around, so we stepped out into the hall and spoke quietly. And then Kazuma's like, I think it's a great plan, but will they cooperate with us? I don't know. We'll have to ask and see. It's important they feel the same as you, Harumi. You're right. But we'll never know unless we ask. I'll go contact them. Okay. Talking about his, like, nerd friends. Thank you. Then let's commence Operation TAS. He's already named it? I decided to just roll with it. Operation TAS had begun. What the hell does that stand for? Oh my god, we're going to find out later and it's going to be something ridiculous. I wonder what it means, though. Nope, that's not the real issue right now. Anyway, I can probably do something about the outfits. Although we'll probably need Kazuma's help. I started to look for him, but was interrupted. Oh, secret talks. Oh, scandalous. Sena? Again? It's not scandalous. Kazuma's right over here. What do you need, Spacey? I wanted your help with something. Hey, if you're doing something cool, let us join in too. Us? Rico's like, whoa, why are you volunteering me? Look at him, he looks like a deer in headlights right now. He's like, huh? Of course, big boy. I like when they go full-on goof face, they, like, just really ham it up. Like, you've got this, like, it's fucking ridiculous. Harumi also has his dead face. But, like, his, like, fucking nerdgasm face is just, like... They really were just like, let's just cheese it full-on. It's good. Why do I have to... Wait, what is this all about, anyway? While Sena was clearly enjoying himself, I felt bad that Nishijima was being dragged in. But, oh well. I... I want to get back at some people. Get back at them? That sounds... ominous. Are we talking revenge? In a way, yes. Oh, I knew this was going to be fun. Count me in! He doesn't even know what we're doing, but he's like, I'll go get the masks and the knives. Not that kind of get back at them, Jesus. But, but I haven't even said what we'd be doing. Nah, if you're in trouble, I'm here to help. And so who bullied my whittle, Harumi? Is someone using you as an errand boy? Sounds like a good time for revenge. Uh, that's not it. You've got it all wrong. Please, this is all I wanted to ask of you. 
He's like, I like anime. And then they're like, oh, yeah, cool, me too. And these girls made fun of me. And they're like, what? A few days later, Zeno wanted to see things go down himself. So we had to schedule a time when both he and Nishijima were free. <laughs> the gang's all here together to make this awkward. I love it. Due to that, in the morning before the table reading was scheduled, Operation TAS was executed. We were all gathered in the manga club. Hmm, will Mr. Makino's Operation TAS be a success? Will. Sorry, I read that wrong. And don't worry, we need to be confident. Makino, do I look okay? Not weird at all. I've done cosplay before, but it's never been so similar to myself, you know. I'm Anse. You're doing fine, Kuzuryu. And no matter how you look right now, you're still... Hey! Here they come! Stop your bromance! Kiss later! Familiar voices echoed down the hall. Their conversation stopped outside the door, and the club became intensely silent. Oh, it's here? The nerd pit? The nerve of him to tell us to come here! For real, what if we catch... Initiate the next phase of Operation TAS! Rumi whispered the orders to his friends. The girls threw open the door and came in. Rumi self-proclaimed fangirls who hated nerds. What if we catch what? Cooties? Girl, get over yourself. Rumi, just where were you thinking telling us to come here? What? Huh? Wait, are those your friends? Why are there a bunch of hotties in the manga club? Why else? We love manga. That's the club. No way. I've never seen this knockout before. You sure you have? You spoke to him recently. Oh my god, we had Kazuma sex up Kuzuryu. No, we didn't. When he was like, I've done cosplay, but I've never looked so much like myself. I did not realize. <laughs> we played Operation Makeover and we didn't even get a makeover montage. What the fuck? You can't do that game. There are rules. And the rule is when you take a nerd and you make them hot, we have to have a montage. It's the same thing when you're getting in shape and you're like, I got two days to be able to win this boxing chip. Montage. And then everything's perfect. Where is my makeover montage? It's because Kuzuryu doesn't have a sprite, but I kind of wish he did. And then I kind of wish they gave you like, you know, average nerdy thing and then they like all of a sudden model gorgeous and you were like the shit i kind of want to see it man i need it for you know my brain i can imagine it but it's not as good as seeing it i want to see it come on <laughs> seriously you're joking right he looks so different this has got to be a scam last time nobody had any sense of fashion everyone looks so dumb but now he's so modern. I don't know if I'm seeing things, but I think he's honestly sparkling. You don't need to belabor the point. I didn't look that bad. Who didn't? You? It was really you? Yes, we all met at the event hall too. What? Seriously? A 10 out of 10 guy like you? There's no way I would miss out on that. What a bunch of douchebags. My god, I'm all for this revenge. Wait, you're the one with the ugly, thick glasses? Whoa, girl, don't you make fun of glasses! We stand glasses in this house out! Take this trash out, Harumi! Get him out of my fucking nerd cave! Glasses are sexy. This girl has no idea what she's talking about. I mean, maybe they didn't flatter him, and it's like, these glasses flatter you better. But glasses are sexy! Stop it! Kuzuryu nodded shyly. What the heck? You look gorgeous! My brain cannot handle this na right now. The girls complained of being dizzy and sat heavily in some chairs. Well, they're just the worst. They're the worst! I can sympathize with their confusion a bit. They should complete. Operation Transformance Stun was a flawless victory. Ah, oh, T-A-S. I'm glad you didn't tell us what it was, because it wouldn't have been as fun. So that's what it stood for. Like we were completely in the dark. I shame people judge others by their looks. What? Wait, that's the model Yukito? No, no way. Yeah, like what you see? I was their stylist. Hey, wait. 
I thought we said we were going to stay hidden. You'll be fine. Is that seriously Riku Nishijima? Why? Are they dreaming? Hallucinating? Why are they making a surprise appearance? Who cares? This is amazing! <laughs> Seeing this group all of a sudden would sure be a shock. Also, I mean, like, I hope they're not like, yeah, girls, you can join the- No, 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 no. You girls need to shut your mouth and get out of here and never be seen or heard from again. You learned your lesson, now go off and away. Because Kuzuryu deserves better than either one of you. With Nishijima's help, we'd borrowed some fashionable clothes and had Sena coordinate the outfits. I just... I really wish we had gotten a freaking makeover montage. I wish Kuzuryu had had a sprite and they had done a fucking makeover montage. It would have been the best thing ever. After that, Kazuma cut and styled their hair. The plan would have never gone over so well without all their help. Sena approached the girls and they erupted into screams of excitement. Yeah, until he tells them off. Hang on now, and be good girls and calm down. If you can do that, I might do something nice in return. Y yes sir Do you wanted to say something th to them right, Harumi? Right, thank you. I called you to here because I wanted to ask a favor of you. The what? I want you to stop looking down on people just because they're nerds. You treated them, treated them just fine once they changed their appearance. Well, yeah. But that doesn't change who they are inside. Anyone would be upset if people mocked them for what they enjoyed. I'm sure you'd be just as devastated. I lied to people because I was scared of being shamed for what I liked. But I don't want to lie anymore. And no matter what anyone else says, I like what I like. And I don't like lying. So like your girlfriend. Oh, yeah, about that. Um, yeah, totally my girlfriend. All that said... If you can be civil, so can I. And we can still treat each other as friends. You're giving them way more credit. Like, I don't think they deserve this. They deserve to be told to piss off. Well, I guess we were a little mean. A little? A little? Yeah, I was totally pissed when this one girl dissed my bag that one time. But I laughed it off so I could fit in and I felt awful about myself afterward. Okay, I'll stop judging people based on a bunch of stereotypes. Like, this is... I mean, bravo, good for us getting the freaking like, 80s after-school special ending and all. But, like, this is not... Okay. This is ridiculous. But I'm here for the montage that we never got. Yeah, I'm sorry, too. Really? Th thank you for understanding. Don't you blush at these bitches. They're just saying that because they want to get in my boyfriend's pants. Can we say something back? Huh? What's that? You guys totally look way better this way. You'd be way more popular if you always look like this. Why not get contacts? M me? No, I couldn't. Kuzuri looked bashful, but he also seemed to like the attention. I want to compare your before and afters, so can you send us your selfies? What? We don't have anything like that. Uh, really? Then let's all take a pic now to commemorate the moment. Oh my god, seriously? These poor nerds are gonna end up in the back pocket of these dumb bitches. I don't care if they pretended they learned a lesson. I don't think they did. Seeing the girls turn over a new leaf at the manga club reminded me of when I'd first become friends with Harumi. People can understand each other when given the chance. I mean, I am okay. Well, Alright, fine. Give them the benefit of the doubt. Maybe they really changed. I don't really think so, though, but, like, sure. The plan was a huge success. It was only thanks to everyone's help. But it wouldn't have happened at all without someone initiating it. I'm proud to be your compatriot, Lord Makino. That makes me happy to hear. Thank you. He's, like, blushing all over the place. Yeah, it feels good, man. It was worth it. With all your contributions, it was a huge success. Thank you, everyone. Then we'd better get going. Ueda, are you coming to the table reading? Oh, yes, I'll head over later. Okay, then I better put in more effort than usual. <laughs> Whether she's present or not, please show some initiative. What are you talking about? I'm always on. Oh, I'll be there, too. There's nothing we need you for. 
overachiever much. I'm not gonna just watch. I have my own job. Nozma and the others left to head to their next assignments while Harumi was talking to the club members. I bowed in thanks as they departed while my thoughts drifted to future events. With all this settled, we don't need to pretend to be a couple anymore. That thought was more than a little sad. But we still have another, like, pretend time coming up. Harumi still had classes to attend, so we'd meet up later after they were over. I needed to return the outfits we'd borrowed anyway, so I headed back to the studio by myself. There was an outfit for every club member, so it was pretty difficult carrying them down the stairs on my own. Ugh! <sighs> Heavy! I stopped at the landing to catch my breath when suddenly the load became lighter. Harumi? Sorry, I'm not Makino. Hazuma! Sorry, I didn't mean to sound ungrateful. This is all pretty heavy. Don't push yourself. Look, he looks sad! Stop! Don't do it to me! Don't make my little golden retriever sad! Stop it, game! I love his sad face, though. Look at it. It's so precious. I just want to stroke his floofy fucking hair and tell him everything's okay. He's still a good boy. Okay? Like, it's just so wrong. I love his sad face, though. <laughs> it's Thanks, Kazuma. But why are you here? I'm here for work. Where are we taking these? Um... He helped by carrying half the load back to the costuming department. I thought they were Riku's clothes. Did you say that? Anyway. Thanks. You've been a huge help. I'm sorry to distract you from your work. Hey, I want to ask you something. A little while ago, Hanai said you and Makino were dating. Uh, oh, yeah? I thought it sounded fake, but then later I saw you and Makino heading back to your room. Oh, that night... If you were dating someone, you'd at least tell me, right? But you haven't said anything, and let's be real. I got this from Hanai. So, are you two really dating or what? Azuma's doubts were understandable. If I had been dating someone for real, I certainly would have talked to him about it. The problem was Harumi and I were only sort of dating, assuming it even counted at all. It was too difficult a situation to explain. There's no need to lie about it, so I might as well tell him what the deal is. If I had a hazard guess, it was because you got caught up in his whole ploy, right? You never could abandon someone in need. Ugh, he's perceptive. Because I can't imagine a scenario where you'd be dating someone and not tell me. Don't play with my heart like this, okay? It's bad for my health. Oh, but see, he says that, and then you're like, Oh, I can never date anyone because it's going to hurt him. Stop it. This is the one thing I also, I mean, I hate that about the childhood friend routes. Is because they're always like this with like, the, the childhood friend character, when they're in love with you, is always kind of clingy and like, oh, you can't fall in love with anyone else. That's to be me. And again, when I don't like the character, I'm like, whatever, bitch, move on, get over it. But I love Kazuma, and this hurts me now. So, like, man, I feel for people who like the childhood friend character, and this happens to you all the time. I mean, there's always some characters chasing you down, but usually it's like Sena, where you're like, I don't feel bad for you, because you're just... Practically dry hump in my leg. Whatever. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I don't feel bad. But I feel bad for Kazuma because I love him and he can't be sad about it. Ugh, damn it. It's gonna be like this in every other route. Shit. <laughs> it was as if Kazuma couldn't fathom the idea of me and Harumi dating. Or that I could even date anyone at all. Kind of offensive, actually. Is it really that strange of an idea? Kazuma froze in his tracks. No, but he just doesn't want you to love anyone but him. W wait, so you actually are... Kazuma's tone was panicked. Hmm. I should check with Harumi first before I say anything more. I'll just evade the question for now. I felt bad about it, but I decided to change the subject. So, did you know there's a new fried chicken kiosk in front of the station now? It smells really good. I bet you'd be interested in it, too, since... Don't change the subject. So obvious. I couldn't look away. His expression was so serious, unlike anything I'd seen from him before. Is this where our pretend time comes in? We have one. I've been waiting for it. I'm not going to interfere. I just wanted to hear it from you directly. Otherwise, I can't properly sort out my own feelings. I found myself backing into a wall as Kazuma came closer by the second. Kazuma! Kazuma was always there for me worrying about me, but I'd only been thinking of Harumi lately. 
I felt guilty about it, but I was also taken aback by Kazuma acting so confrontationally. Look, and look he's gonna cry! Look, he looks so sad. I, I, what I don't like is it's, I understand him being like, whoa, you're dating someone and you didn't tell me I thought we were best friends. It's weird. You know what I mean? Because it's been like months. But this whole like backing us into a corner thing and getting a little aggressive, that's not Kazuma. I mean, I guess maybe a little bit, but I feel like they're trying to make him seem more like the creepy childhood friend where it's like i'm just possessive and over like whatever they tried that in his route in that whole scene in the aquarium and you're like i'm not buying this though it's not how you've acted the whole time and like them doing this is like again i'm not really buying it i mean i get you being a little like whoa whoa, whoa no 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 you're not changing the subject you're gonna come clean to me because we're best friends so let's go but him trying to get a little confrontational and almost like like, we need Harumi to white knight in here for a second. This is what's happening right now. And it's like, that's not Kazuma, though. You know? So, like, it's weird that they keep trying to... They, okay, I'm just going to say, I love Kazuma. But I feel like what I'm going to say is going to sound weird. They did a really fucking bad job making him the typical childhood friend love interest trope. And that's a good thing because I like him and I like him and his route and who he is. But they're trying to like kind of shoehorn this like, oh, he's got to be a little over possessive and a little creep where you're like, no, creep, get the fuck. And that's usually why I hate these characters. But they're trying to do it, but they're doing it in such a fucking horrible job with it that like Cosmo, you're like, oh, I love Cosmo. He's so great. And he has that moment at the end and you're like, I'm not buying any of this. That's fucking weird. That doesn't fit with you at all. Or like this moment and you're like, yeah, no, this you're trying. You're trying to fit the trope, but you did such a shitty job with it that you made Cosmo really likable. So when you're doing the typical standard childhood friend obsessive trope shit, it's not coming across right. It's like, nah, this doesn't work. Like, I love Cosmo, but I just wish they hadn't tried to shoehorn the trope shit in and just left him the way he was instead of like, you know, like I get maybe snapping at the aquarium and giving you some other kind of like, you know, it's like, I just, I want you to need me. And it's it's not like he doesn't want you to succeed or he's jealous of you. It's like, I just want you to need me. And if you succeed on your own, you don't need me. Like, okay, cool. I get that. Like, maybe you're so used to us relying on you and needing you and you having feelings for us that like, you know, but it's this, I've just always been jealous of you and I'm a horrible person. It's like, no, no, that's not it. That that's not it at all. But going down the like, I just if you're being successful, that means you won't need me, and I like it that you need me, and I feel like I don't want to be cut out of your life because you know what I mean. Because like this fear, like you've always needed me, and now you're standing on your own two feet, and you don't need my support, and that scares me. Type of a thing that would have worked perfectly, but they tried to go the like. Ugh, I'm just a horrible person. Like every other childhood friend where you're like, wow, you're a creepy fucking asshole. Step off. And it's like, you know, so like, I don't quite like that. They're trying to do that. They're trying to shoehorn that in. and It doesn't fit his character, but I get, they kind of wanted a little bit of a confrontation thing here because Cosmo in this situation would be, I get, he'd be it upset and a little like, Maybe a little mad that you're like, wait, we're best friends and you didn't even tell me about this? Like, what the hell? So I can understand that. And then they kind of had to just make him a little more aggressive so that Harumi can pop in and be like, hey, what's going on with this conversation? And you'd be like, what are you doing? But it's still, it's still weird. Like, and, he, and he's getting a little like confrontational aggressive. And then he has that sad, dejected look, which is very like gaslighty. Like, don't do that. I already feel bad, but don't make him a dick because he's not, you know? I love Cosmo. I really do. But they really did, like, a bad job making him the standard character, like, trope. It's really weird. Do you, like, do, do, am I, like, do, am I making sense? Like, do you, like, get that? You know what I mean? Do you feel the same way where you're like, yeah, no, Cosmo's route is great. And then when they try to do the standard trope stuff, it doesn't fit. So it's like they did a... Like, it's not like, oh my god, this character is just so fucking awful. Everything about them is trash. It's, 
he's an awesome character that you're trying to shove into this trope that, and you just did a really bad job putting him in this trope because you just made him so good on his own, you know? Like, I don't know. Anyway, Miss Spacey, what's going on? Harumi, oh, now he's mad. And they're going to try to make Cosmo like out to be a dick. And again, I guess you need him to be a little bit aggressive to get your, but it's like, again, it's not him though. Everyone else is pretty much standard. Like, I don't know. Like, I feel like these normal behaviors would make me hate Cosmo because standard childhood friend trope. But I already know he doesn't fit that. So it's like weird. Like, as much as I like this game and I like Cosmo, I don't like that they're trying to like force this adorable, charming character into being this psychopath. Like, it's not like that. Like, Arumi approached us at a brisk pace and spoke in a low tone. What are you doing, Kamakubo? None of your business. I'm making it my business. And also, like, Ozma wouldn't be this aggressive. Like, I don't know. Oh, yeah? Why is that? Because the tension was escalating. If I didn't do something, those two would surely come to blows. Oh, really? You think Harumi's gonna punch fucking Kazuma? Kazuma's gonna knock Harumi down the stairs and that's it. <laughs> Seriously! Hey, Harumi! I've known Kazuma for a long time. It's fine. I know you two have been friends for a while, but you're clearly uncomfortable right now. Am I wrong? Um... How does that have anything to do with you? Also, but again, this. Ka if if he was just getting a little upset and didn't realize we were uncomfortable and then Harumi called it out, he'd be like, wait, what? Oh, and I didn't mean to make you feel like... I don't think Cosmo would be this aggressive and douchey. Like, you're making her uncomfortable. What does that have to do with you, bitch? You know what I mean? Like, he's not being normal Cosmo. I don't know. She's my girlfriend, so step away. And I, it's because supposed to be Cosmo's in love with you. But, like, I don't... I feel like they could have gone about this a better way instead of... If we had done Harumi's route first, I would have been like, great, Cosmo definitely is that childhood friend trope. And I would have fuck. I don't think... I would have gone into his route with a little bit of distaste. I'm glad his route is first because this is so out of character for him that, like, I don't like that they're doing this to him. But it's not his route, so it's like sometimes you just gotta be the douchebag and not your route. You know what I mean? And like, Harumi's always gonna be a standoffish weirdo, not in his route, you know? But... Harumi took my hand and pulled me protectively into his arms. Oh, hi. Harumi! Girlfriend, huh? You really mean that? Do I sound like I'm joking to you? And let me ask you this. Pretend time! And hopefully, this fucking, like, save the game. We are going to save, because this is where we need our next save file right before this one anyway. But also when the game inevitably, like, decides that we're not going to play this anymore. You know what I mean? When it's like, ah, fuck you, I'm just gonna crash. Actually, do we have time for this pretend time? Mm, yeah, we do. Okay. Between the other one and this. We can finish this, and then we'll be good, I think. Mission! Convince Cosimo you're dating! How about I say we're dating? Shut your trap. I go Cosmo just doesn't believe me? Well, doesn't believe Harumi. What qualities do you like about Spacey as a girlfriend? She's always considerate of my feelings. She's not afraid of being honest with me. It's so funny that the puzzle pieces are over their faces. I trust her opinions and I value her insight. He said it with such conviction. Huh. That isn't what we decided on when we started this. I highly doubted Harumi forgot the notes he wrote for himself. Was he improvising? And what about you? Why do you like him? Me? I... What do you like about Harumi? His timidness. How he strives to improve! His timidness! Ouch. Hmm. How he's always striving to improve himself, one step at a time. Where others, w where others would give up, he keeps at it. Seeing his dedication inspires me. Hmm. I mean, I get having a, like, 
for 10 times, like this little interrogation maybe with Kazuma because he's like, wait, she's my best friend and I gotta make sure this is legit and this is okay. You know what I mean? Like, he's stepping in and being like your dad right now, which is fine. I don't necessarily mind the little interrogation thing and him being a little sus and whatever. It's the him being a little too aggressive about it when he's like, yeah, what's it to you, Harumi? Like, you know what I mean? That's out of character for him. This interrogation thing, like, gotta make sure that this is legit and you really appreciate her as our best friend and, like, whatever, only family, basically. I understand that and I'm not mad about that. I am mad that they try to make him look like an asshole, though. Seems like you've been dating for a while. When did you actually start dating? Ugh, we decided this in our character notes. Hold on, I gotta look it up. We began dating on Harumi's birthday. September 26th. She came with me to visit a pilgrimage site, and I confessed my feelings to her on the way home. Oh, he's just going with what actually happened. Huh? It's not what we agreed on. Is this gonna work? Pilgrimage site? Alright, where was it and what did you do there? Kazuma looked at me for answers. I know this one! Because <laughs> it's real! Which place did you visit on September 26th? We went to an udon shop. We went to Anaphyte. We went to an udon shop. Although both of those are right. But we went to an udon shop and had the same meal that anime characters ate. Well, we topped it off with lots of tenkasu and, we, and it was delicious. Yeah, you piled on so much it overflowed. I wish you'd forget that part. But it's part of the memories of our time together, so it's important. And the funny thing is, is this is actually legit. That was our friend date, and yet... And why aren't you getting this worked up over udon? He's just jealous now. No, he's sad! Aww. Hmm. And what about your first date? You must have gone somewhere. Or was it another visit to some pilgrimage site? I'm ready for this one. We decided on the planetarium. The aquarium. What? He keeps going off script! Yeah, but he's tell- But you know what's really adorable? He is saying all the legit, actual, honest things. Like... The experiences that you had, because now it's, like, kind of sort of becoming real. Since this was Harumi, though, I assumed he had a plan. I think the aquarium was the place we visited while we were on, where we were location scouting. That at least sounds more like it than a pilgrimage site. So what did you do there? Well, he didn't slam me against a wall and tell me he was an asshole. Which, again, was kind of feeling bullshitty. What did you do at the aquarium? We watched the dolphin show. We bought matching items. We watched the dolphin show. We watched the dolphin show. We sat in the very front row and got soaking wet. And then you wiped me off with your towel, which helped a lot. But then you got worried that I would catch a cold since I was still wet and you dried me off with your own towel. <laughs> and thankfully, we were both fine in the end. That show was really fun. I want to go back there again. Could you do focus, please? I like that he's interrogating us, but, like, we're over here just googly-eyeing each other. Like, look at the way Harumi... Like, I love Kazuma's sad face. I really do. I adore it. But then you have Harumi over here with his, like, precious, like, endearing face. And I just... And also, it's funny, because right now, Kazuma's got the lolly boy eyes. He's got the saucer eyes going. I think the saucer eyes is just kind of, like, the way this game is. So, like... But, like, look at Harumi over here being precious. I can't handle it. You two can't give either one of you. I can't take these looks. Stop it. This is definitely a man harem game. Jesus. I didn't think we'd be inviting all of them into the man harem, but this is the way it's going to go. Uh, it can only go up from here, I hope. Because if it goes downhill, I'm going to be disappointed. Because Santa's beautiful. And we like the flirty whores, usually. And, like, Riku. I'm here for that. And the professor. Though, like, Rico and the Professor were, like, my top two. So, like, they're the last two routes. And if the routes go down from here, I'm going to get disappointed. Because I did not expect... I was like, okay, Cosmo seems like a fine character, but whatever. And we had so much fun in his route, and I adore him. And now, freaking Harumi, you're like, I can't. I can't go through this game and be like, my two favorite characters are the two I would have thought would have been my least favorite. Like, I would have gone through and been like, the route was good, but... Hats on head. Good boy. Anyway, and moved on. No, I'm like, no, I love them. They're precious, and nobody can hurt them. Like, we're hurting Kazuma, 
And I feel bad about it. I also feel bad that the writers are kind of trying to make him a douchebag and he's not like that. And I hurt for him. How dare you, writers? How dare you hurt my little golden retriever? Stop it. He's a good boy. He's like an Irish setter because they're red, right? <laughs> anyway. Hmm. Even though you say it, it still doesn't feel like you're dating. So have you two even done anything as a couple? What, what kind of things? Cosmo, that's inappropriate. Some, sure. Really? Have you kissed? Just hand stuff. I'm just kidding. Why would you ask that? I wish I could disappear. Have you two kissed or not? We have not kissed yet. We've kissed. We haven't kissed yet. Yeah, okay. We haven't kissed yet. Because you do that after you've deepened the relationship. So, yeah, not yet. Uh, enough. I get it. Cosima covered his ears. Why would you even ask in the first place if you didn't want to hear the answer? Rumi's like had such an intense look on his face like kiss her. I'll do it now if I have to. So are you interrogating us because you don't want to accept that we're a couple? No, that's not it. Will you accept it if we show you proof that we care for each other? Proof? What do you mean? How should you convince Kazuma? Kiss each other. Show him the photo. <laughs> kiss each other! So funny. This is a photo I took when we went to the botanical garden. I always have it with me in my planner. See, Harumi's a genius being like, we shove photos together. I have one too. And that day was really memorable. I often take it out and look at it to reminisce. Me too. Oh! <laughs> Kazuma's dead. <laughs> you too. I get it already. There's still things we haven't mentioned. No, that's enough. Rather not hear anymore. Sorry for doubting you. Cosmo raised his hands as if surrendering. So dramatic. Besides, I've never seen you look that way before. Huh? I meant Makino's the only one you give that look to. And see, now he seems okay with it. I mean, and I can understand again, like I said. Cosmo. 100% complete result, whatever time. I forgot to read the... Re anyway, you get it. Um, I can understand Kazuma being like, I'm going to interrogate you because she's my best friend and you better be good enough. You know what I mean? And I get that. And I get him being a little upset that, like, you're dating someone and you didn't even tell me? Like, I, I can understand those feelings. Like, are you cutting me out? And, like, again, because, like, in his route, again, what they should have done has been, like, the I need you to rely on me. I'm nothing without you relying on me. I can't handle it that you're going to be capable on your own. Would have made sense. So then it would make sense kind of in here of him being like, Ugh, wait, one, wait, you're not telling me you're dating someone and oh my God, you're moving on without me and I can't handle that, but I want you to be happy and I'm going to make sure this motherfucker's good enough for you. You know what I mean? But they kind of made him get a little too aggressive at first about it and make him look a little too, and it's like, yeah, I mean, he's going to look sad because you know, we know that he's in love with her, you know, she's not supposed to know that. But we, as the audience watching this, kind of know. So we're like, no. Oh. But him trying to get a little too, like, douchebaggy was like, it's not him. So I get kind of where they were going, but they went in a little weird direction with it, where it's like, pull it back. Put him back in his lane. Get him out of the other one. He's not in the douchebag lane. Get him into the normal one, thanks. You know? So. Listen up, Makino. If you hurt her, I'll make sure you regret it. This kind of thing, like the overprotective brother, best friend, dad kind of role. Fully expect that. I don't need to be told that, Kamakubo. Fine. I have to get back to work. You know what I mean? And then everything's fine. And like, he was just checking him out. But the little overly aggressive thing so that Makino had to jump in was just weird. With that, Kazuma left us. They could have done it better. Again, they did a really shit job at making Kazuma the typical best friend trope. So when they're trying to shove him into that little box, it doesn't work right. They should have just leaned into the way they made him, which is like just our best friend who really cares about us is kind of maybe a little bit in love with us and has this weird complex about us always needing him. So when we start to break away that that kind of tweaks him out a little 
And that would have worked so much better than being like, I'm an asshole. I want you to fail. I'm just jealous of you. And it's like, that's not you. Anyway. I was so nervous. I totally ignored all our character notes. And then fucking Cosmo Jeff said, I told you! I knew it was fake! I'm sorry, but other than lying about us being a real couple, I thought we should tell him the truth. I see. Well, you've accepted who you are and made some new friends. So I guess we don't need to keep up the charade, but... We went through a lot to convince Kazuma. Maybe we should keep it up a bit longer. Yeah, if you're up for it, I'd like that too. Bond us into a relationship. By the way, you surprised me when you came out of nowhere speaking like that. Uh, oh. I'm sorry, I was being too familiar all of a sudden. I'll rein it in, so please don't dwell on it. Wait, you don't have to. I just meant you can talk to me without being so formal. To tell the truth. In practicing talking more assertively. I feel like that's what heroes would do. I love the fact that he's blushing over this. What a dork. I love him. <laughs> I'm like, what a dork. But I, I mean, like, it came out so aggressive, but I'm more like, what a dork. Like, I said it way, well, like, it's one of those weird things where you say things and you're like, oh, just total tonal problem with how that was delivered. Oh my god. I adore it. I didn't mean to sound so aggressive when I said it. Arumi being more assertive. Feels kind of weird to me. Even my choice of words. I thought about speaking less formally, but I thought I'd, I'd make fewer enemies by being polite. I thought everyone wanted that version of Harumi Makino. I see. I like it, though. Being more casual makes me feel like we've gotten closer. Really? If you say so. Maybe it'll feel less like I'm pretending if I try my best. I'm sure everyone at the university will understand. They'd likely be surprised at first, but I wasn't sure they'd accept... But I was sure they'd accept him. Weird. About what happened just now. Yeah? I blurted out that you were my girlfriend, but you're not secretly hiding a crush on Kamakubo, are you? What? Me and Kazuma? And never mind. Uh, forget I said anything. You're like, what? God, no! And then Kazuma's over there crying in a corner, crushed. Break him down a little more, girl! Why would I even be worried about that? Harumi turned his back to me and kept mumbling to himself. I just hit my button, sorry. Because he's, that's actually kind of cute. He's like, you're not like secretly harboring feelings. And you're like, what? No. And he's like, why am I concerned about that? Because he's, oh, like we were jealous when he's making new friends. <laughs> While I was worried what Kazuma thought, he'd accepted Harumi. It felt like I'd gotten closer to Harumi thanks to Kazuma. I'll need to thank him later. Huh? Who? What's going on? <laughs> Don't worry about it. <laughs> Touching music. All right, so we're probably over time, I think. Uh, definitely, but we had to. Ooh, episode six. I think this is our last one before we get our. Oh no, there's chapter seven and oh chapter seven. Okay, so there is one after this. Oh, and we get another pretend time in here. But anyway, so we've got two more chapters, but. I was like, ooh, are we getting, our, we're getting closer to our ending? I mean, we're getting closer to our ending, but not as close as I thought we were. But anyway, I will see you guys next time. Remember to give the video a big thumbs up and subscribe to see more.